Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here with yet another 100% achievement down trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in the really fun Super Destronaut DX2 Now this was developed by Petite Games, published by Radalika Games and is available for a deliciously small £4.99 Now those who remember the original a few years back really did enjoy this game and number 2 is more of the same It's fun, enjoyable and of course very easy it kind of makes it a shame that a fun game like this has such an achi easy achievement list, but, well, in the end, we do love it, don't we? <laughs> so, this can be done in less than half an hour. Basically, we have to complete the first two worlds in challenges, um, which is basically just a combination of arcade modes pushed into five levels, basically. <laughs> then get certain points in arcade mode, die once, kill a battlecruiser, and get a gold rating on any challenge. All very easy, but I am here to show you how. So, with that being said then, let us begin. And so what we're gonna do then, we're gonna start on challenge mode, world one. Now you see the zero out of five there? That's, you actually need a rating in each of these um, levels. All pretty, you know, very easy enough, but basically it's no good just to complete the levels, we've actually gotta get a rating in each of them. So of course, for instance, you got classic mode, um, and it's basically just for beating, you know, a lot of it is just for beating the time or getting a certain amount of points. Um, you know, very, very easy. So, this is what we will see first. This is, I'm just going to show you the first two levels. We unlock a couple of achievements right here. So, obviously, the big enemies are going to give you bigger score. Um, every time an enemy attacks, you can tell when an enemy is going to attack is when they start, when a, that little square sort of goes on them there. Little white square. Um, so, here we go then. I end up dying, but I get a silver rating. Perfect. So that will do for the first level. You could probably get more. Now it's time attack mode. And you've got time attack mode, you've got time rush mode, bullet mode, a hardcore mode. That's usually the five. So obviously time attack mode, you just need to complete the level as quickly as possible. Now in these time attack modes, I don't actually think you can die. I think you can just actually run, run straight into them. Uh, but don't quote me on that one. I didn't test it until the arcade mode. Um, but it's easy enough anyway, just to absolutely smash through it on your own. Um, but yeah, like I said, you know, if we just should be getting an achievement very, very soon. So now we basically come to the end of the first world, which is the hardcore mode. All it is, is the enemy sh try and shoot you a little bit more, that's all. Uh, again, nothing too major, and you can get, get through these levels very quickly indeed. Now obviously, normally you've got three lives. If you get hit more than three times, you die. Um... But if you don't get hit at all, you actually keep the multiplier going, which uh, makes your score huge, massive, like a big old donkey schlong. Um, well, I mean, depending on what part of the world that donkey is from, I suppose. But we get another silver rating, which should be fine. For some reason, my gold rating one... Ah, there we go then. So we've completed uh, World 1. So it automatically just goes into um, World 2, which again is basically just more of the same. Um, so yeah, there's, there's not really a lot to sort of go on. Um, obviously, if you try not to get hit, your multiplayer, like I said, keep going up. Um, be careful with things like that. Uh, these enemies do have new lasers and new weapons and everything. But what you'll get here as well is the... Um, for dying once. Now, basically, as you can see there then, so I completed all the five levels, but as I said, I've only got four out of five because I didn't get rated on the uh, World 2-3, which was the Time Rush. So if that does happen to you and you're wondering why you haven't got the uh, for completing World 2 yet, it's because you need to get rated. So, just go ahead and do this for some reason. This level took me a couple of times. Um, it's literally just... <laughs> just be good. Just be good. Apparently I wasn't. Uh, but that's all it takes then. So my apologies, actually you can die uh, in these challenges mode, so uh, my bad for that. Um, but that should be that. I just about get a bronze rating actually by 8 tenths of a second. I don't know why the hell I struggled on that uh, one so much for. But we can actually now just quit. Um, yeah, so we can quit that. So we've done the challenges mode now. So now, there we go, 5 out of 5, perfect. Now we can go on to arcade mode. Now, 
the four one four of them are very very easy classic mode is not bad but we need 120,000 points and it's no good just sort of going in sort of Rambo style um, you've actually got to do quite you know it's a lot of points that we need 120,000 so my advice would be just you know <laughs> in a game like this be as careful as you can as soon as you know that as soon as you see that an enemy is shooting or goes to start shooting just immediately try and get over there and kill them always keep an eye out it's hard to see when you're shooting and enemies are exploding it's like sometimes hard to see their bullets so always be on the move don't never stay still in one place for too long because honey you die and I don't want you to die not today not any day but this is only the trick this is only the trickiest one that uh, did this is only the trickiest achievement that you can get in the game but like I said as long as you don't hit you can keep your multiplier up always go for the big enemies I've uh, just and this is where we killed the one battle cruiser as well. Also, these spaceships that you just seen there, sadly, I literally just died. But it, those spaceships will basically drop a power weapon. So as soon as you shoot that, pick up the P stands for peeing in the power in the pooty hole. Uh, no, it doesn't, but it does stand for power. <laughs> So, as soon as you see that spaceship, always get it. It definitely comes in handy. You'll get either rocket ships or big, huge guns. And the amount of enemies you can destroy and rack your score up a lot quicker. That is how I ended up doing it. With a couple of those power-ups. Rather than this single pre-come worth of bullets. Pretty awful. Uh, but yeah, so, like I said, that, that's the best thing there. Just try and be careful. Keep, try and keep your multiplier up. I know it's not really top advice. But it is the best that I can give, I'm afraid. <laughs> it's the best that I can give in the situation that pre presented itself. Right, so now that, that the <coughs> so-called hardest one is done, now we can just do the rest. And the rest are very simple, especially the time rush and the bullet mode, because we have no lives, as in infinite lives, not no lives. And the achievements can delay popping. Um, sometimes, you, you know, you're waiting on screen for about... 15 to 20 seconds so don't panic if it haven't come up yet it's just taking its uh, classical time so now we'll just head on to time attack mode this is obvious this is pretty obvious you get 30 seconds to kill as many enemies as we can we need to get to 15,000 uh, points on time attack mode which should not be too bad at all um, literally just get, like I said try not to get hit keep aiming for the big enemies as much as you can and there we go. So I ended up there with 20,000, um, uh, 24,000, sorry, score in the end. So that one should be fairly easy then. That's just literally 30 seconds. We'll quit. We'll go back to arcade mode. And then we'll go into time rush. You have 90 seconds, blah, blah, blah. So we should be good. There we go. So again, taking its time, the achievement to unlock there. And there we go. So, we'll just go into Time Rush now. Ah, we'll just go into Time Rush now. Ah, we'll just go into Time Rush now. So, obviously, the objective is always the same. Kill some aliens. That's, you know, fairly obvious, that one. But there's nothing else here. Basically, we need to keep our multiplier up until we get and hit 35,000 points. So, that is what we need. So, just make sure you've got 35,000 points. This one should be easy. You get literally a minute and a half. Um, and obviously the bigger your multi the more you hit the enemies without getting hit the more your multiply goes up as I've said um, And then it's literally just a case of Letting the time run down a minute and a half is a long time as you can see there So I get the 63,000 points in the end So that one should be uh, very easy shouldn't have a problem with that one. So we'll just quit out of that And go back into arcade modes I've already got two left now. Bullet mode is the easiest one of the lot because, like I said, we've got infinite lives. So, what we're supposed to do is uh, take our time with bullet mode and only shoot one enemy because the, the enemies get one hitted. But, I don't know if they put it in the game on purpose. You can literally just slam into the enemies all the way through. As soon as you get your required 35,000 points, then you can just waste all your bullets. And that is literally it, as you'll be able to see now. So obviously the, the aim of the game is to not go all out Rambo Pambo with your bullets. You're supposed to take it one at a time, as you see me doing. And again, so getting hit literally doesn't matter in this one. 
So we're just going to slam completely through everyone, get our required bullets, required bullets, required points. And there we go. So we've got 35,000 now, so I can literally, I just literally start slamming it away. Now, if you do collect that golden bullet from the spaceship, that basically gives you more ammo. So if you did want to do it the legitimate way, that is how you do it. Kill the spit well, get the spaceship and then grab the bullet. And that is how you get more bullets. But of course, we just want we just want to get achievements. Which is kinda of sad actually, because this game is <laughs> this game is actually really good. And I wonder if they'll release a third one with trickier achievements. Hmm. Would you be happy playing this game, this type of game with trickier achievements? It certainly would be very intradasting, wouldn't it? So now here is the hardcore mode one. We need 80,000 points. Sorry, not 80,000. 80 million points. No, I'm joking again. We only need 5,000 points on hardcore mode, which is very nice. We literally have to kill about, oh, what, 15 to 20 enemies, something like that. Pieces of pisses and pies in the piss piece. Whatever the hell I just said. I don't know, but 5,000 in hardcore mode is easy. Like I said, all they do is just slam a load more bullets at you, but you're going to kill them before they kill you. Until they kill you, and then I just fudged that up. So, of course, you know, literally just do your dodging. It might be it might be worth just um, slamming into them as well. See if you can get 5,000 points r without wasting bullets. Uh, just slam into them and see if you can get 5,000 doing it that way. But there we go. So, I was literally done the second wave. Got my 5,000. What was that? Yep, yeah, 5,880. And that's that then. So... Once again, Super Destronaut DX2, very fun game, it, it, it is a very enjoyable game. Uh, lucky for us again, it's another easy achievement list, and that should be your 1000 out of 1000, slash the old Platinonium. So, thank you so, so much for watching guys and gals, I do hope you enjoyed the game as well as the guide. If it did help, don't forget of course to like, comment, subscribe and share. Don't forget to ch check me out on all my uh, <laughs> socials as well, Twitter, Patreon, Instagram and Facebook. A big huge shout out to everybody uh, who continues to support the channel and especially those on Patreon. Big ups to you guys and gals, highly appreciate it. But with that being said, oh wait, wrong bit. I'll see you in the next video, guys and gals. Big love.